you could be today. Just ask all the students and they'll tell you that. We're just thrilled that you're here. The students have been practicing their pianos all year long and they have picked out quite a wide variety of music for you to listen to. There's going to be something very exciting going on all the time so you won't go to sleep, I assure you. Now, since they've been practicing so hard, please feel free to respond. You know, when they get through playing, you can clap for them all you want to. They will appreciate that. On your program, you know that some of the students have symbols by their names. And on the back of your program is the key to what those symbols mean. Some of them have played in contests. Some of them have played for families and friends. Some of them have played at their churches. We're just happy that they're playing the piano wherever they are. I'm going to ask my husband, where did he go? Oh, there you are. He's behind me. If he would come and lead us in prayer before we start. Would you please stand up? Because you're going to be sitting for a while. Please stand. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for music and how it lifts our soul. We ask, Lord, you bless each family that's here and represented, that you would help us, Lord, to add music to our life wherever we can. Bless the students and help them to do their best. In Jesus' name, amen. A former student, She's going to play her first recital piece for us, just 10 little Indians. Then she's going to play some other pieces. Tamara Tid Baird.
remember the first song she played was with one hand. See your potential? See your potential? If you have not already turned off your cell phones, please do. Next, we're going to have Joey Berger come and play for us a song called Jumping Joey. Then his mother and him are going to play a duet together. Joey likes playing for family and friends. Hannah May is going to come play for us next. She's going to play the Princess and the Pirates and Splish Splash.
Berger is going to come play for us now. Tom is going to play the shepherd's flute and Vivace, opus 117, number 18. Number eight. Thomas likes to play for his family and friends. Campbell Abner is going to come play for us Dreaming and Arabesque.
You know, the piano is used in many different ways and in a variety of ways and for very many different purposes. It's live music, it's not canned. So next we have a vocalist, Tracy Tid Cotter is gonna come and sing. Mary, did you know? And we have some uh, drama here. Piano is used for drama, piano is used for accompaniments, piano is used for solos. The piano is a basic instrument and everybody should learn to play it. say real quick that Kathy and Chuck will be celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary June 2nd. Just thought I'd let you know. They gave me a mic. That was not planned. <laughs> Thank you, dear. <laughs> and we will be out of town, too. <laughs> All right. 
Next we have Madison Easton. This is Madison's first recital. And she played in the talent show at school this year. She's gonna play a song, a folk song. And then her mother is going to join her and they're gonna play a duet. Alton Berger will come play for us next. He's playing the Renaissance dance and follow the leader. Alton likes to play for his family and friends. William McAvoy is going to come play for us next. William participated in the KMTA uh, competition last November and received a gold trophy award. He plays the keyboard at his church for his youth group and in the main sanctuary services. And William is going to be running in the state track meet for uh, South Junior High in a week or so. So he runs and he plays the piano both. Woo! -hoo!
Next we have Miss Victoria Brand. She loves to play baseball, softball, and um, she slid into base the other day and sprained her ankle. But she is an overcomer and she's just coming right along here today with her boot and everything. She also likes to play in the marching band and the symphonic band. Victor, Victoria is gonna play a song for us by Bach. He wrote this song for his oldest son. at the same time. It's going to be so much fun. So Alex McGann, I need you to come up, Elijah and Victoria. We've got to get some chairs. They have so much fun playing this trio. They come to my house to practice for 30 minutes and then they sit and talk for another 30 minutes till their parents come in and drag them out. They just have a big time. I gotta give them their music. to see who can get to the end first, <laughs> but they made it together. <laughs> okay, so um, while they're putting up their stuff here, I need to talk about a couple of them here. So uh, Elijah Folsom, he played in a competition last fall and received a gold trophy. He also plays at church and in his school, and so we're proud of him, and the others are returning to play in a minute. Okay.
I'm Gail Waller, and I know Kathy through KMTA. And so I have just a few of my students that are performing today. I teach music in West Louisville in Owensboro at school, but I live here and go to church here. And so two of my girl students are here, and they've come all the way from Owensboro. So that's awesome. And so I'm going to introduce the first one, Ainsley Robertson. So come on up. And Ainsley is going in fourth grade. She is active in sports in different things, but she's also very musical. Ainsley's been working with me for about two years. She's been in our school choir. Uh, she sang in Honor Choir at KMEA District 2 in Owensboro this year. And she also was my only third grader in my Tiger Beat percussion group that I had this semester. So Ainsley's, Ainsley's going to play Matt My Cat and Alouetta. Next, we have Katie Green, and Katie has played in my percussion group at school for two years. I can really tell a difference with these students that I work with in private piano, and then when they're in choir or percussion ensemble or whatever, it really makes a difference because they can read music and they have a good sense of rhythm. And Katie is going to play Colorful Sonatina with three parts. Then she's going to play The Lonely Pine and Little Liza Jane.
very proud of those two girls and especially thank you parents for bringing them from Owensboro. Next, I have Sydney Cotter, and I teach private voice too, to, to uh, some students. And Sydney started working with me off and on about a year ago. And Sydney likes to sing. She's performed in the community. She's performed at church. She even came here uh, back in March and sang special music um, for us. So Sydney's going to sing Molly Malone, a traditional Irish uh, little tune, and she is accompanied by her grandfather, Chuck Titt. Presley Pritchett. She's going to come play for us. Amanda the Panda and a lion named Brian. Presley likes to play for her family and friends.
words in Spanish gypsies. Her friend Macy's going to join her. Maddie received um, a fifth honors recital trophy last year for playing in five honors recitals. She also received a gold award for playing in the competition. Maddie's also uh, participated in the fine arts competition in piano and vocal categories with her at church and will be going to, uh, she participated in Louisville and she'll be going to, where is it you're going to California? California in the fall. She also plays the keyboard and sings in worship services for her youth group. in church and plays the keyboard and sings. So her friend Macy 
is going to join her and they're going to sing a worship chorus called What a Wonderful Name It Is. And Maddie's going to play while they sing. And if you know the song and would like to sing along with them, feel free to do that, okay? So we're going to get that ready. Nice worship chorus about Jesus. that uh, we've done this year is and been doing it for some time is the students are learning to read music learn those notes 
but we're also learning to cord. I have several students, like Ms. Campbell is, Abner is one of them. She brings her uh, iPhone to her piano lesson, looks up some music, puts it up there, you know, in the music stand and just starts playing with her iPhone. So, you know, they're gonna put the music stores out of business. Well, that's okay. It's just fun. We have all kinds of avenues and ways of playing music. You know what Maddie's doing? She's trying to teach her father how to play the piano. She has a tough job because he doesn't practice. Oh my goodness. Maybe, maybe he will practice and maybe he will play for us next year. That would be good, Bill, if you would do that. You, you better practice though. She's got a hard job. It's harder than mine. <laughs> Miss Alex McGann is coming next. She's going to play a song called Shimmering Prelude and Ride the Wind. Alex competed in the KMTA piano competition last November and received a perfect score plus plaque. I think she bribed the judge. No, she didn't. <laughs> and she received an honors award trophy, which entitles her to play in the honors recital at Transylvania University next November. She also has first chair trumpet in the Henderson County Wind Ensemble Band, which is the highest band. And she is a junior in high school.
We have another trio now. It's called Outstanding. It's Alexandra Watson, Parker Pritchett, and Bailey Holmes. Miss Bailey never got to sit down, but it was fun. They had so much fun doing that. Faith Roberts and I are going to play a duet. This is Faith's first recital, and I'm so excited that I get to play with her today. Faith started taking some piano lessons this year, and we're so proud of her. Paxton Pritchett is going to come play for us Stock Awards. He likes to play for his family and friends.
to uh, play a Christmas carol, to write a Christmas carol. You know somebody wrote Jingle Bells and everybody sings it, it's a simple little song. So I challenged all my students to write a Christmas carol. Well, Mr. Paxson, he wrote a Christmas carol for us and he's the only one who did it. And I'm so proud of him. So the song that he wrote is called Joy Is In My Heart. His sister Presley and Sydney Cotter are going to sing the carol that Paxton wrote. Bailey Holmes is going to come play us for us next, Lullaby for Willow. Bailey competed in the KMTA competition last year and received an Honors Trophy Alternate Award. And she likes to play for her family and friends. Thank you. 
Alexandra Watson is going to come play for us, A Dream from the Isles. Alexandra competed in the KMTA competition last November and received an Honors Trophy Award, entitling her to play at the Honors Recital at Transylvania University next November.
As soon as this is over, Alexander is going to Florida. I think we should all go with her. Mom, can we all go with you? Sure. <laughs> all right, last but not least, we have Parker Pritchett coming to play for us in the beginning and his own arrangement of Pirates of the Caribbean.
Thank you, parents, for the privilege of teaching your children and your young people. I love them. I enjoy every one of them. It takes the cooperation of the parents and the student and the piano teacher all working together, as you well know, to learn to play the piano. Hey, kids, you did great today. If you played for us today, would you please stand up? We're going to clap for you again. I would like to invite anyone else that would like to play the piano to come forward at this time. Anybody want us? Anybody else want to play? If not, you are dismissed and thank you once again. <laughs>